Happy trade deadline day. That's Dennis Bernstein. I'm David Pinota. Our trade deadline coverage here, as always, brought to you by CCM Hockey. DB, let's jump into this one pretty quickly. Talk about a couple of moves already made this morning and the big one last night. Jake Gensel goes to Carolina. And guess what? So does Evgeny Kuznetsov. He heads to Carolina. The Capitals eating half. Initial reactions on these deals. Uh, well, for a team that's known for not m- making big moves in rentals at the deadline, Dave, a little change yeah. of character. I-, I think Don Waddell and the crew looked around and saw Florida and the Rangers and like, oh, well, maybe we need a little bit more. And they got a lot more. They gave up a lot. Uh, and certainly the Kuznetsov deal is a risky deal. Uh, but again, that improves them at the second line center, which you're really going to have to improve and have more offensive punch against the teams that we mentioned, uh, the other competitors in the East. Yeah, certainly. You get him at, at 50%, $3.9 million cap hit. Jake Gensel, because of retention from Pittsburgh, is 4.5. Same cap hit as Michael Bunting that goes back to Pittsburgh. The Penguins, certainly not done by any stretch. There are discussions revolving around Riley Smith and Ricard Raquel and Lars Eller and, and a few others that they have uh, on, on that roster. The other big one so far this morning, Tyler Toffoli going from New Jersey to Winnipeg. Yeah, and look, Winnipeg's in it to win it, right? They think they can get past Dallas and Colorado in the Central. That's a heavy task. And then some other teams are looking, sniffing around Los Angeles, Vegas, Vancouver. So, But the Central Division team won out. But, you know, here's the thing. Gabe Velarde's been out, I think, over 20 games this season. He's going to miss a few more. So certainly, Tarot Toffoli will help the presence on the power play on the right side. You know, he's a perennial 30-goal scorer. So I know it cost him a couple of picks, but really good move by Chevy. He's done a great job all season in Winnipeg. Yeah, certainly. I mean, he's been, you know, kicking around. He was bargain hunting for a while, gives up some draft picks for Tyler Toffoli and adds to that right, right side, like you said, deepening the offense from this squad. I'm curious now where Jason Zucker ends up. There have been a number of teams that have been poking around on him. Arizona is willing to retain 50% of that deal. They've been looking for a second-round pick. Let's see kind of where that goes. Vancouver's been kicking around and, and a few others. And also, I should mention before we go, on Vegas, in the last few days, they've been involved in some trade talks, not just with respect to Gensel, but a few other pieces as well. I'm told there's something that they've been working on that could certainly steal some headlines today if it does get to the finish line. We'll see if Kelly McCrimmon and the staff in Vegas can pull something off there, but we're definitely keeping tabs on the Golden Knights. Doesn't sound like they're done by any stretch. (laughs) We'll be back all day. Lots going on. That's Dennis. I'm Dave. See you later.